Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial presented by the SA Child BB. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to plot three dimensional curves. Now, let's start. In order to plot a three dimensional curve, we need to know that there are variables in these curves. The function we're going to use to plot a three dimensional curve is just uh, plot three. I'm going to paste in bracket. Now inside the brackets, we're going to paste x, the x coordinate, the y coordinate, and the z coordinate of our curve. So this is plot three. Now in order to plot now to find for the x coordinate, let's first find uh, the x and z coordinate where there is no z coordinate in this case. Now let's see. <coughs> the x coordinate. We are going to find x coordinate. We enter the x coordinate as um, the first value is going to be 0 the next value is going to be or uh, we can still use the x coordinate that was found in this initial question here so just write x is equals to so we have the value of x which is given to us so we write y is equals to so we have the value of y giving us to 12 so we are going to use these values as being the value of x and the value of y now z let's say z now is going to be equal to a sign of x um, raised to the power 2 plus y uh, raised to the power 3. So we have this. Now, I initially told you that when you want to perform this type of um, this type of um, equation, you need to know that x and y in these cases are not a single variable. These are these are not variables, but they are vectors because they contain multiple numbers in it. And in order for you to perform a a point by point raised to the power of two, you need to element by element raised to the power of two. You need to put something here called a decimal point. This decimal point is going to be involved with a point by point, element, element by element. So this is going to be squared, this is going to be squared, this is going to be squared, and it's going to be squared, and all foods and so forth. So this is similar with this part. So when you want to involve, always do with point here. Again, when you also want to be involved, so I'm going to place a, also a bracket here in order to say that this is separated from this other part here. Now, here again, I initially told you that this is a good routine to always place a point by point addition because I want to add the square of this, the square of this to a part the, each element of this, each corresponding element of the y squared. So I'm going to use also a point here. So I have z here, but I don't want to see the value of z. If I want to see the value of z, it's going to be shown as this. Now, these are the different value of z here. When I have the different value of z, I can now say <coughs> I can now say that I want to plot the curve now x comma y comma and z. So I'll plot it. I'll not plot it with a simple plot. But I'll plot it with three dimension because now it contains three variables. It contains two variables with one function. So this is a plot here. So this is a plot here in a three dimension. This is a plot you have. Now you can have now another plot which is not formed with this function. Another way of forming a three-dimensional plot is by using the function mesh. Now, again, you have already seen that you always have a z here, but now let's try to use first mesh with this z. So we are going to use x comma y comma and comma and a z here. So let's first try this. When you have this, you see error is shown, and error is shown to you where the row, they say row z must be the same length as y, and the column z must be the same length as x. So this is an error which is shown, which is shown to you in order to tell you that in order to use mesh, the row of z must be of same length as y, and the column of z must be the same length as the x. So now, in order to make sure that the row of z should be the same length as y and the column should be same as the x we are going to use another um, function called mesh grid which is associated with mesh 
So I'm going to use another function called mesh grid. So now let's start using mesh grid. How do you use mesh grid? In order for you to use mesh grid, you know that I I can easily use mesh grid. I'll, I'll say um, mesh grid easily. So I can say mesh grid of X to see what will happen. So let's say we have mesh grid of X. The mesh grid of X is producing this. So you see that mesh grid of X produces this. So since mesh grid of X produces this, you see that it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11, um, 11 um, columns and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 rows. So this is what is going to make this um, this error not to occur again in with the Z. So what will happen is that I'm going to put the values as such. I'm going to do this. I paste square bracket. Pay square bracket as such. So I'll write xx now, comma, yy. Then I will say it's equals to mesh grid of the first value will be x and then the next value will be y as such. When I do this, you see xx is equal to this and y will be equal to this. I'm now going to use both of their values in order now to find the z which is going to be which is going to remove this error of mesh width. So let's come now and see z. So z I'm going to use this formula here but now with xx and yy. So I'll come up there. So I have Z and now I'll instead place Y, Y here and I'll place X, X here. So now you see that when you place X, X here, you make sure that Z has the same number of columns. So you have to see that now Z will be, you, when you print now, this is now the value of Z. Z has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It has 11 columns and that's one, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 rows. So it makes sure that this error is not seen again. This mesh error here, yeah, not seen again. Now I'm capable now of mesh into x, comma, y, comma, z. When I do this, I'm capable of plotting. So I'll plot and I'll come, I see my graph. This is my graph here. So this is a graph which is produced with a mesh x, y, z. Now another beautiful graph you're going to produce is going to be shown below. Now we are going to draw a three-dimensional plot which is going to contain of an amplitude which is decreasing like an like an oscillation of waves. Amplitudes are decreasing when the distance from the starting point of the wave is um, is reduced. When the distance increases instead. So from here we are going to first um, assign new value of x. So let's start. So assign the new value of x. You said x now. We are going to use the lean space in order to make sure uh, that they, they, they are equally assigned. Now the new the first value we are going to use, let's say is negative 20. And the then we place comma. We said that in lean space, the first this first one is going to be the first value that's going to be used. The next uh, term is going to be the last value. Let's say the last value is 20, and then we we separate them by 50 terms as such. So we have this by 50 terms. Now we have um, the next one. I want to equate y to x. So I'll say x plus y. And I do this, go to the next line and say z is equals to. Now, before I go, I know that to, to need to know that the function, in order for me to plot this graph, this is a function I'm going to utilize in order to plot that graph, where the amplitude is going to decrease per unit time in a three dimension. So I'm going to move up here and take the value of r, then come here, take the value of eps tell you that eps is equal to this if you don't understand eps eps is integrated in the octave program and then i come here and take the value of z and place the different value of r inside and then lastly you have mesh x y z as such
So the problem, an error is shown here because we didn't place the value of the mesh grid. So it's required for us to place the mesh grid. So we first start again with the first value here x equals to x line so x equals to this so continue again with y equals to x after doing this you are going to use now the mesh the mesh grid this line here and place a semicolon so we are going to have this line here x x equals to make sure this is going to make sure that the z produced down is going to have the same number of rows as the length of y and the same number of columns as the length of x so when you have this you now go again and say r take r is equals to this when you take r is equals to this you now go again and say z is equals to this after seeing z is equals to this now you can now come and plot your curve so now this is the curve here which is going to be shown so the curve the beautiful curve is shown as such so you have a curve which has maximal amplitude as then it is good as it is moving out it is reducing in amplitude as it is moving outward from here we are going to say thanks for your kind attention and don't forget to like and subscribe for the channel of science video maker thank you